Don't let it happen again. For today's sponsor we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16 and using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's your Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. As you can see, I'm feeling way better today, so you're welcome. <laughs> Just joking, of course. Am I? So guys, for today's video, I'm actually presenting you some news about um, a DDR4 to DDR5 adapter, so RAM adapter that is supposedly being, being made by ASUS. And this was kind of, well, at least this image that you're seeing right now was kind of leaked by a user on YouTube called Bank. Okay, if you want, you have the video link in the description. Since okay, it speaks Mandarin. I don't know if um, if we actually have English subtitles, but it has lots of images, lots of things to explain. If you actually want to watch the video more in depth, okay. So link is in the description. Now a DDR4 to DDR5 adapter. It is actually a possibility, but it has lots, lots of things that wouldn't work right away. So if Asus is actually doing this, they have to make it really, really well. And there are some things that are or can be actually a deal breaker. So the first one is actually the price. So we know that the R5 is completely overpriced due to scalper pricing and blah, 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 blah. But well, the R5 is really more expensive than the DDR4 and that is because it's new and all new technologies cost more than the older ones who would have thought Ooh. so yes if it is new it will cost more at least for now then the prices will st stabilize let's say over one year or two years but the DDR5 is new and new things cost more just that take off the scalper prices and it is how it works how it works okay this is how it works now like I told you the first thing is the price okay uh, because if the DDR4 adapters are actually pretty expensive then it might it might not be an option to actually buy the adapters to use older DDR4 RAMs RAM kits and maybe have problems due to using adapters and so on maybe it is just uh, better to spend a bit more money and get a DDR5 kit, so price is definitely a thing. And that comes in play because if you are running dual channel, if you are running like two RAM sticks, like most people do, you need two adapters. And if you are running four RAM sticks, you need four adapters, so that will be crazy. So if you have RAM for four RAM sticks, you'll need four adapters, the price will ramp up completely and you might just want to grab a DDR5 kit, okay? It is what it is. And that part of actually needing one RAM adapter for each RAM stick leads us to another problem, which is basically the space. So if you, are, if you have, for example, an air cooler, it takes a lot of space and a lot of RAM space in terms of height um, and depth, okay? And that's a problem because if you need, if the adapter is really as high as you see here, of course, this is a prototype, uh, the newer ones may and they are likely to be smaller but still if they are if they add height and depth well one thing surely happens is that you won't be able to use at least four M sticks with your cooler so you need to actually have a water cooler instead of a tower air cooler because you won't have space at all if you use the adapter there's also a really important thing, which is the signal integrity, okay? So depending on the motherboard's topology, if it is T topology or daisy chain, daisy chain being the most common, like in 98% of motherboards or even more, um, in daisy chain you have, for example, two connections to the most important slots, which will be the, the best ones for overclocking RAM in terms of overclocking and stability, and the other ones, if you connect four, uh, RAM sticks, the overclocking will be decreased because the, the signal integrity is better in those two slots. 
While you're, if you are using, for example, a motherboard with T topology, the signal integrity will be completely equal for the four slots. But on the other hand, daisy chain motherboards can usually overclock higher due to better signal integrity, uh, while the T topology ones work better with four RAM sticks but won't overclock as high. Now, if you put an adapter on the top of that, the signal integrity will be even worse. And even if the adapter is really well made, and it is really, really good, well, the signal will always be worse than using the RAM stick in the motherboard directly. So that's another problem. And another one is, for example, the power management. Because I don't know if you know, but DDR4 power management occurs in the motherboard. So it is the motherboard that controls the power management in the DDR4 RAM stick. While on DDR5, it is different. It's the own RAM stick that controls its own power management. It has a chip that controls the power management of the DDR5. So the motherboard doesn't actually have a power management for the RAM. So this adapter will need a power management chip to actually manage the power of the DDR4 RAM stick because the motherboard doesn't have it and the DDR4 stick also doesn't have it. So it is a must that it has a power management. But this will require a lot of tuning for the power management to work correctly and that's another negative point. So unless it is really well made, it once again may cause problems or, a or at least a little bit of headaches, yeah, instability and so on. And that leads us to the final but not less important point, which is basically the CPU's IMC, the Integrated Memory Controller. It may work, for example, on an older Lake motherboard which which supports the 12th gen Intel CPUs because the CPUs the 12th generation Intel CPUs support DDR4 and DDR5 on their IMC integrated memory controller but that doesn't mean that other CPUs like for example the Ryzen 7000 which will be Zen 4 that doesn't mean that Zen 4 Ryzen 7000 will support also DDR4 in the IMC and if they don't support DDR4 on their IMC, I don't see how can they manage to actually do a proper integration of the adapter because it will require a lot of BIOS updates and several things. I mean, I'm not an engineer, I'm not a programmer, but I don't really see how can they do that properly, okay? It's, it's a little messy to do in my opinion. It's hard to know, but I like I said before, I'm no engineer nor programmer, so I'll leave that to those who know what to do. And yeah, guys, basically that's it. It would be really nice to have because it's an option for people that actually don't want to ditch their DDR4 kits because they have good DDR4 kits. But at the same time, there's a lot of problems that may occur or are occurring uh, when using slash making these RAM adapters. Like I told you before, signal integrity, there are lots, lots of problems that may happen, power management and so on. And yeah, they, 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 those can be kind of a deal breaker in most scenarios and most people will just prefer to get a DDR5 kit instead because of the problems. You won't have problems with a, with a DDR5 kit on a DDR5 motherboard if you're doing things properly, while you may have lots of problems while using an adapter even if you're doing things properly. Back in the day, we actually had motherboards that had both DDR2 and DDR3 slots, okay? It was not adapters. They had actually slots, they had like four slots, where we had, for example, two slots, um, two slots for DDR3 and two slots for DDR2, okay? But that happened because the CPUs actually supported both DDR2 and DDR3 on the IMC integrated memory controller and that's why it worked. So I don't know how it will work in the future, but yeah, it is nice to have, but can cause problems. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this information. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about these DDR4 to DDR5 adapters. If you think that they can be done properly or not, if you think they will be expensive or cheap, just let me know because I really want to know what you think and Thanks a lot for watching. Yeah, see you in the next one, guys.